All right, for O camp, <laughs> O camp is good time. So the DAT itself, uh, as far as O camp goes, is very basic. It's your basic elimination and substitution, but there's still definitely a lot of the more advanced, like Corbonio or rings, that you want to learn. Um, overall, I would say, even though I didn't do the best at it, O camp is the easiest section on the DAT. So you want to divide up your time wisely. Um, so Kaplan Blue Book is a great way to refresh your OCAM if it's been too long since you took a course. And again, I mean, I'm going to watch my language here, but DAT Destroyer, um, that's the good stuff. That's the good, let's just say stuff, for um, your OCAM studying. Um, go over those problems, take a break, and then go over them again. And you want to be very comfortable with all those problems, not just knowing the answers, memorizing, but actually learning it. Uh, high yield organic chemistry, which is, let me show it to you. Oh my god. This book. In the camera. This book. Um, it helped me. Uh, again, there's a bunch of problems in the back that are very similar to, uh, well, not very, but pretty similar to uh, the actual DAT. So if you have the time, which you will, you'll be studying for this for a good couple of months, I would go over this as well. Let's see. And I don't know what else to tell you as far as you can. Oh. Now the PAT. Um, this is the fun part. Um, when else can you say you're actually going to study for DAT by doing games and these sort of word problems? So for me, I would personally, I would start the DAT PAT like a month or a month and a half into it. So you have another month and a half to study it and get it down. Because what happens if you start your PAT too early, you might forget your techniques or whatever you do learn and sharpen your techniques. It's going to go away if you don't practice it. So a month and a half into your DAT studying, start doing PAT and lots of practice. This is where it really comes down to just sitting down doing it. People say you either have the intuition or not. I wholeheartedly disagree. It's something that you really want to just practice, 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 and get it right. Um, and I would, the first thing I would recommend is actually the DAT PAT, uh, crack that DAT PAT. Uh, great software. I use it a lot. And it's about, it has about 10 tests on some, some random questions and tests. And I would do 95% of all the practice you do for that software under test conditions. That's the key. Time is going to be your biggest issue. Um, by the end of your DAT studying, like a day or two before the test, you're going to be very comfortable with everything. And you're going to have the timing down. But for some reason, I don't know why, the actual DAT, I was behind on time for every section. So you always want to do test conditions. you got to be as comfortable as you can with um, timing. Let's see, what else did I say? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to make another video explaining strategies and specific skills uh, for each section of PAT. But as far as this, um, I'm trying to keep this video under 10 minutes, keep it short. So let's skip for now. Oh, uh, oh I don't like this song. Yeah. Yeah, this is where it's at. Okay. So the angles on the PAT were the hardest um, for me personally. Um, what I think really helps with angles is obviously practicing and figuring out your own strategy. Uh, the Hill method is pretty famous. If you just Google the Hill method for angle ranking, DAT, PAT, you'll find um, good info on that. That's, I feel like that was the most useful for me. If you also uh, Google the eyeballing game, quote unquote eyeballing, eyeballing game, uh, and go on the first link, you're going to find this game that firemen use to uh, make their eyes good, I guess. And I, I think that helps me. Uh, and besides, it's a good break from studying hard sciences. You just go on this side and play some games. Um, yeah, it helps to turn your neck to <laughs> figure out those angles, and your neck's going to be broken by the end of this test. I guess it's a sacrifice to become a dentist. Uh, DAT Achiever PAT. That is great, actually. Um, the thing with Achiever is all of it, as you obviously read all over STN, is hard as heck. But it gets your timing down and that's what you really need for a DAT. The Achiever PAT was just like it was unfair but I'm grateful I did it because it was closer to the actual DAT, the real PAT, than crack that DAT PAT was. Sorry for all the acronyms. 
Um, so I definitely do both of these, Achiever PAT and Crack That DAT PAT. Um, and so here's one biggest mistake I feel like I would make personally on the DAT PAT is spending too much time on a problem. Uh, what I think happens is when you spend too much time on a problem that you're going to ultimately end up guessing, you're going to lose your confidence. And that guess is wasted because you're completely second guessing yourself. And worse is that uh, your next problem, that lack of confidence or loss of confidence, is going to carry on to the next problem. And that's going to really mess up your score. I feel like that's what's going to get you. So if you're spending more than a minute or a minute 30 seconds tops at a problem, skip it. Mark it, skip it, and finish the DAT early, the DAT PAT early, <clears throat> excuse me, and go over that problem again. Um, see what else I said here. Yeah, so you want to finish the DAT PAT with at least five minutes so you can go over everything. Um, last thing, oh, okay, now comes the break section. Take that break, uh, eat something, something light, enjoy, relax. I'm sure you all taking tests before you know how to handle yourselves. Um, just relax during that break. Okay, now the reading comprehension. Um, I'm second language, so I didn't do too well with this section. I got a 20, and I feel like uh, I could have done a little bit better if I slept good. So before the night of your DAT, it's going to be hard. It's going to be the most stressful sleeping period you ever been engaged in, but you're going to try to want to sleep really well. Get at least 7-8 hours. Don't make my mistake. Uh, I messed up on my cognitive reasoning and uh, the reading comprehension because I didn't get any sleep. So, well, a big aspect of it was because of that. Um, as far as reading, I can't really rate resources like Crack DAT Reading, but I can tell you the Achiever Reading and the uh, Top Score Reading, the other program called Top Score, you I'm sure you heard of it. These two problems, if you were to take the average of these two practices, you would get the real DAT. So they're as in the spectrum of um, Achiever and Top Score, if they were to have a baby, that baby would be um, DAT RC or the reading comprehension of the actual DAT. So I would take both uh, tests on DAT Achiever and Top Score and try to be comfortable with both. Um, you're gonna be adapting during the test. You might have to be switching strategies. Um, now I really don't think I'm the best person to tell you about the RC section of the DAT because I only got a 20. So I don't know. I'm just trying to put my um, comments out there, my effort to help you guys. Um, I did run out of time. Again, time is the issue with DAT. You need to cue down your time. Uh, my personal strategy for DAT was I would read the first paragraph or two and then I would just start doing questions. I would do all the questions that are um, related to that certain section or a certain passage and then if there's obviously going to be questions that I couldn't answer, which I skipped. Uh, I would just go back and read the whole passage and then I would go to that question. Again, time yourself. Timing is a big issue here. Um, yeah, so get a good night's sleep. The strategy I just told you, it works very well if you have good memory, if you can remember what you read as you're going through all the questions. So I can't emphasize this enough. Sleep is your friend. That's how you solidify everything here. So get enough sleep.